competitive industry, and every minute you're not catching fish is money lost. Captain Bill McCarthy uses sonar and echo locators attached to the Legacy's nets to find large schools of fish. Monitors show colors that represent mass and movement in the nets, and experienced fishermen can tell from this what kinds of fish they've caught. The echo locators also indicate when the nets are full and when it's time to pull them up. Well, this would be where the actual work begins, I think. Mike Bieber would certainly know. He's the, uh, be the deck boss? Yes. What do we want to see in that net? Cotton Roxel. Roxel. That's Cotton. our target right now, Roxel. This is a hazardous work environment. I got uh, my three guys here, and ideally, you know, when we go home, you know, they're coming with me. So, so I have your word that if any of these guys, including me, get in the wrong spot, you'll physically grab us and scream at us. Oh, I'll, I'll get you out of the way. Well, first thing we do is we drop the stern gate down. The square gate's going down, all right. The two trawl doors herd the fish into the net. Each one weighs three tons. All right, come on into the alley. Let's get this boat over. You gotta throw it up over the rail, but these guys are in the way. No, no, pull it up. Okay, when you get to about that point right there. Right here? Yeah, you reach out to your other arm and throw those over the rail. Watch your toes, guys. Yeah. All right, door legs are up. About 12 tons. About 12? Yeah, that's big money. Why, uh, why don't they swim out? Water flow. As we're towing through the water, there's a lot of water pressure going in there. So it forces them back. They can't swim faster than the ship's yep. gone. You can feel the anticipation in the air. Everyone's waiting to see what's in the net. If it's a good haul, they all make money. If it's not, it's a lot of wasted time and effort. for the fun part to see what we caught. Uh, how do we do it? Looks like, what, 12 tons or so? Yeah, that's about right. This is Bill, by the way. He's a skipper, if I didn't officially introduce him before. They look surprised. Like, what am I doing here? That one right there, you can see the uh, disappointment reflected in his eye. <laughs> the nets are emptied into one of the ship's live storage tanks. From the tanks, the fish are fed onto conveyor belts that take them to processing. <laughs> See all the, uh, the rocks over the pink bellies there? Yeah. Those are the, those are the good ones. And these big guys are all cod. Cod. We're right. really targeting specific species more than just going out and catch as much as we can of anything. Right. Well, I'm starting to get cold, so I gotta go back upstairs. I'm gonna stay here and pretend to do something. Yeah, there you go. Now we gotta kick all these loose fish into the tank. Sure. Look at his eyes. Yeah, they always bulge like that? No, nah, you know, as you know, he's a very deep water fish, and as he comes up, you know, his air bladder fills up, and you right. know, his eyes bug out. It's just part of bringing him up from the deep. Oh, man. I'd say he's got the bends right about now. You go over there, it's the control, right. all the way to your right. All the way? Yep. Anyways, are we all good? We're good. That's We're it right the there. factory. But I like it up here. I like it up here, too. I don't think I want to go to the factory. But that's where we make the money. I've begun to get my sea legs, my sea stomach. Yeah, I'm still working on it. <laughs> that's pretty good. Who has the dirtiest job aboard the Legacy? The answer is everybody. Crew members rotate between the deck and the factory on a daily basis. Down below, the only speed they know is maximum because workers are paid based on volume of fish processed. 
The more you process, the more you earn. It's that simple, which is why on board the Legacy, they say that the factory is where the money is. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Sorry you can't smell it. I really am. My first job in the factory was processing cod with Josh. We bleed them, you know, to get a real good slice on the throat, you know. Quick. All the way down. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, bleed them. You gotta go fast. Sometimes they come 50 of them at a time. Just keep going. You gotta. Why do these cod need to be bled? Because of their size and the volume of the blood in their bodies, if they're not bled, they'll start to rot during processing. You don't have any blood in them. Oh, yeah, he does. Sometimes you'll get one that'll, when you bleed it, it'll shoot the blood right in your face. This is a super job. I've had it in my mouth, my eyes. Pretty Great. nasty. Great. Right oh, there. Right there. Sweetie Cod. What's that hanging out of his mouth? That's his stomach. His stomach? Yes. Why is his stomach hanging out of his mouth? The cod, they're, they're really deep. So when you bring them out, they're explode. All in all, bad day to be a cod. In order for the legacy to keep on catching and processing fish around the clock, Captain Bill McCarthy has to be in the wheelhouse at all hours as well, tracking schools of fish and monitoring the nets. In the factory, I was on to my next job with Steve, who I was told was one of the gutsiest guys on the Legacy crew. You're gonna pull this off right here, and we're gonna keep the cod stomach. That's the stomach? Yeah, this here is the cod stomach. You're gonna grab it at the end of this, you're gonna pull all this out. Oh. So, what do you do with this? They throw it in the gutter. Oh, this guy? Yeah, and this is cod sperm. Yeah. We're going to save some of that, too. You're going to put that in that basket over here? This one? Yeah. Okay. And then in here, we got the cod stomachs. And you want to go cod ahead and... Cod stomach, yeah, yeah. You want to dump that on there? Yeah, dump them. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Take that out. All right, now how we do this, we take them like this. We hold the back of it. And you squeeze it. Squeeze all of it out. Then you're going to throw this in a basket. Why do you save their empty stomachs? People eat them. We sell it. We sell the case. United States Seafoods processes about 20 tons of cod stomachs every year. I thought making snakes puke was bad. It was. This is worse. Most of that is shipped to northern Japan, where the stomachs are boiled and made into a soup or stuffed with various ingredients. That's why they need to be squeezed out here. Sometimes you find birds in here. Uh, Coke cans, cods eat everything. Oh, look at that. that one ate sperm. Yeah. yeah. They really will eat anything. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, if you want to turn one inside out, that's all right. Yeah, yeah it, I'd like to see the inside out stomach. Huh. That's what it looks like. Looks like the skin on my uh, elbow. Yeah. <laughs> this, that's a stump. Yeah, that's a stomach. Now well, see, that's a that's a cod whose eyes were a little bigger than his stomach. Yeah, they were. Some sort of horrible backwards birth. Oh yeah. Huh. Another cod. The cod ate the cod. Look, don't take this the wrong way, dude. But this is a uh, a horrible job. <laughs> God. Dead. Watching my head. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude. First thing you want to do is get them a little bit of fish, then you come all the way to the back of the tank and just start moving it all forward. Gotcha. There you go. Ah. How many of these fish in the live tank are uh, live? Uh, the majority of them were already dead. <laughs> Thereby giving the tank a somewhat ironic title. <laughs> Wait, what the heck is this thing? That would be an octopus. Is he alive? Oh, yeah, he's still alive. The octopus is not a target species for the legacy. 
This one was caught accidentally and will not be commercially processed or sold. Most unintentional catches like this are returned to the ocean. I'll show you one of the, uh, one of the things that will save you some time. Hey, put one foot right there. Yeah. Pull yourself up. Gotcha. Yep. There you go. Now, once, once you get it to there, you can grab a hold of your shovel, 